So today's message of the day is learn how to have a lot more self-control and discipline. Lacking self-control and discipline will get you in situations that nothing can get your ass out of. You say that you want better for your life. You say you want to feel better. You say you want to look better. Yet you're only motivated and disciplined to change your self, your eating habits, your drinking habits, your weight, your health. Once a person hurts you, once you get cheated on, once you get left, that's when people be wanting to do all the leveling up and X, Y, and Z. But why is that factor not you? You have to understand deeper. Why do I lack so much discipline that it took a catalyst of pain and hurt to make me do better? Why do I not love myself enough? Why do I not feel betrayed by myself? We're not going to go with betrayal and shame. We're going to go from love. Why do I not have love enough? Why don't I reflect self-love enough to be disciplined enough with myself to look the way I want to look, to get the things I want to get, to elevate myself in the way that I want to elevate myself, to bring certain things to my reality? Once you realize that discipline is directly integrated with self-love, once you realize that having boundaries and standards and knowing who you are and what you want knowing what you want and who you are is going to save your life every time because baby it is that deep every person you connect to friend family lover associate business partner where you work how your home lives how your home lives how your home looks how how you live what is your what is your what is your consistency in your schedule like what do you do to be structured what is your diet what is your health regimen? How are, how are you eating? What do you do when you wake up in the morning? You're scrolling. You sit here acting like you won't change, but you're sitting in the bed rotting away all day, ordering DoorDash all fucking day. Your skin look bad. Your weight is fluctuating. You're not pouring into yourself. You're having health issues, but you don't love yourself enough to be disciplined enough to do the things that you need to do to maintain and evolve. But people be wondering why, like, a person left them or cheated on them in X, Y, and Z. Because y'all too comfortable. And I don't condone cheating at all. I don't, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's a valid reason. My point is not about the other person. It's about yourself. Why do y'all get, why do you get so comfortable? Why would you allow yourself to get so comfortable to the point that you stop loving yourself? To the point where, where love and wanting to be a better person it's not just a motivational force from within yourself from self-love. You will lack discipline and you know you say you want these changes, you want things to happen and you don't want to be on that and you want to be on this and you want to elevate your life. You're not trying to drink no more but you're consistently hanging out with your homegirl that's drinking every weekend and your homeboys is pouring shots down your mouth. X, Y, and Z. You say that you want to be celibate, you want to do, you want to do this, you want to do that but you're putting yourself in lustful and temptation in, in these situations that's going to have you folding. You don't have standards. When you have standards and boundaries, it is not meant for it to be walls, to stop connection, to block people out. It's a set in stone way to protect yourself and to have people know where to meet you at. It is okay for you to say no. There are some people, places, and things that you are better than. It is okay to know that. It is okay to know that. Some people will see you evolving and purposely try to bring you down and ruin your life whether they know they're doing it on purpose or they're doing it subconsciously. That's why when you see yourself and when you tell people and when you when people see you elevating and growing and flourishing, motherfuckers be trying to do little stuff to to stop your flow, your blessing if they're in control of it, if they, you know, if they got a way around it that they can work on it or you know, speaking negativity into your future plans or fear or doubt or you know like literally just sabotaging shit. Like you got to be careful about the company that you keep and the company that you put yourself around out of desperation, out of boredom, out of a lower vibration, out of lust. Keep your keep your keep yourself to yourself. If you and when you know your worth and you know what you bring to the table, your value skyrockets. When you know who you are and you're very firm in that, your discernment is on 10. You're not looking at things, people, places, and experiences because you are in an emotional state and you want to feel something. You are disciplined. You know what your future looks like. You know the version of yourself that you're going to continue to maintain and evolve past and meet. If you are not in alignment, you have to go. I don't care. Don't be afraid to say no. Hey, that's not for me. That's not my vibe. I got to go even if you agreed to it. Hey, I don't think we're no longer an energetic match 
you know, peace and blessings onto you. Release yourself. I don't give a damn if that relationship was for years. Sometimes people don't change. Sometimes people change. And that's a valid enough reason to go ahead and move along, move forward, especially when you try to give a chance after chance. People will hold you back if you let them. Yourself will hold you back. Yourself will have you a messed up situation because you don't got no discipline. Because you don't, you're not loving yourself enough to love yourself through change. If you feeling crazy, if you in a job that you hate, if you're around a significant other that ain't right for you, they doing all this, do y'all know that y'all are in control? Y'all are in control to change all that. It's easier said than done. But if you never fucking do it and you never take the first step, at that point, what are we doing? You're not doing anything at all to progress and change. What is going to be, what's, what's the hardship that you want to deal with and that you want to face? The pain of a comfortable chaos and messed up cycles and holding yourself back when time is going to go by anyway or the pain of uncomfortability that is going to bring the blessings that you need, the things that you desire. Be disciplined enough to say no to certain people asking you for shit, wanting to have sex, knowing that you want commitment. Knowing that you have to be on an energetic, mental, spiritual connection with this person. Knowing that you need to get your ass up and go to the gym. You need to stop eating that bullshit. You need to delete Uber Eats and DoorDash off your phone expeditiously. You need to go to the store and be consistent with your herbs and eating fruits and vegetables. Be careful of the, mis the music that you're listening to. Be careful of the environments that you are in. Be careful of the people who are around you. You know this don't feel right. You know this person don't mean you no good. But they giving you money. They give, they feeding your vices. They giving you weed. They giving you liquor. X, Y, and Z. They got some good day, or good cooch, whatever the case is. But you know this ain't for you. At that point, you might as well sit there and tell yourself you hate yourself. Because that's what you're doing. You're killing yourself off slowly. Have the self-love and love yourself through change enough to be disciplined. To have discernment to learn yourself, to know who you are, to know what you want. Once you know those keys of who you are and what you want, anything that's outside of that shit, BD, gots to go. I love y'all. Anyway, I talk about more stuff like this with more love and more lightness. I'm be trying to work on my delivery. But I talk about more stuff like this on my podcast at Heal Souls Podcast and on my YouTube channel at Goddess Shayla. And I have vegan uh, recipes in there as well. And I show y'all how to do mirror work. I changed my whole body, look, face through mirror work alone by them affirmations, telling myself who I am, that I am beautiful, that I am amazing, I am loving, I am a goddess. I can achieve and manifest and get and pray through anything, any situation and know I will achieve my goals. And shit gets real uncomfortable and real real, but I am committed enough to myself to see it through and to take those steps day by day because I rather an uncomfortability for a moment that's unfamiliar than a familiar familiar bullshit yeah so i hope y'all got the message today I love like. camera come on